Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this program, we will be covering reading strings in C using the scanf function. This video is a relatively short video because there is not much to cover, but there are a few things I wanted to highlight about reading strings with the scanf function. Now, there are multiple ways to collect strings as input. You can collect strings using the scanf function or the fgets function both of which can be found in the STDIO library or the standard input output library. For this video, we will just be focusing on collecting input or strings with the scanf function. Taking a look at the code, you can see that we have a character array, which is essentially the same as a string. Um, we know that a string is just an array of characters. The name of our character array is called month because in this program, we will be collecting the name of a month and then printing it back out to the user. Like I said, this is a very simple program, but one key idea that I wanted to point out is that the length of the character array matters. Um, in this code, the length of the character array is 10. This means that we can only collect nine characters. The last character is reserved for a null terminator. This is because all strings require a null terminator. Everything stored within the array should fit within nine characters, including new lines. Yes, even including the pressing of the enter key after you have finished entering the name of the month, that should all fit within the nine possible spaces. To help us prevent memory overflow, we can set certain restrictions for what sort of characters to keep or store in our array. So focusing on the new line problem, we can ignore this new line character by setting up a scan set inside of the scanf function. So this can be seen below. So this is an example of a scan set. A scan set allows the programmer to specify what kind of input to retain coming through the input stream. So in this case, our input stream will be our keyboard. Taking a look at this piece of code for the scan set, the caret character, by the way, I didn't know the name of this character. I learned it while I was preparing for this video. Um, anyways, the caret character and the forward slash n or new line tells the scanf function to take input as long as a new line character does not get encountered while it is reading characters from the input stream. So this is what is happening and this is why it works. Okay, so by using the caret character or the XOR operator, this gives our scan set a true condition until a new line is read as a character. When it reads new line, the condition becomes false and the scanf function stops reading characters. Okay, that is cool and all, but remember that we have to also prevent memory overflow, even while accounting for the new um, line character that the user might enter into the input stream. Well, we can get even more restrictive with our scan set configurations. We can restrict our scanf function to only collect n number of characters. So in this example, we set it so that our scanf function is only able to collect or only able to pay attention to four characters. We can also ignore the first character coming into our input stream with this scan set configuration. Okay, so you get the idea. With the right understanding of the scanf function and the scan set, you can get as specific as possible. So I will leave links to helpful articles that cover um, these things in depth. It will cover reading, input, or strings with the scanf function while using the scan set to set restrictions on what kind of characters to read from the input stream. Um, so reference that if you need it. But with that said, that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye.